Yo, what's good everyone? It's your boy here back with some insane tech news that's got me hyped. So I just stumbled across a juicy leak about MediaTek's next big thing, the Dimensity 9500 chip. And let me tell you, this thing is looking like a beast. We're talking about a chip that could blow past 4 million points on the Antutu V11 benchmark. 4 million! Can you even wrap your head around that? Let's break it down, keep it chill, and figure out why this is such a big deal. So this scoop comes from a super reliable leaker called Digital Chat Station. They're saying test phones running this Dimensity 9500 are already hitting crazy numbers. Now hold up, Antutu V11 isn't even out yet, so these scores aren't final. But if this chip is already flexing like this, I'm like, whoa, what's it going to do when it's fully optimized? I'm pumped just thinking about it. All right, let's talk about what makes this chip so special. First off, it's got some serious power under the hood. It's rocking four Cortex-X930 cores. Think of those as the heavy hitters that make your phone scream through apps and games. Three of them are slightly slower, but the fastest one might hit 4.0 gigahertz. That's fast, like zoom zoom fast. Plus, it's got four Cortex-A730 cores for handling lighter stuff efficiently and a 12-core Mali G1 Ultra GPU. That GPU is going to make your games look buttery smooth and super crisp. Imagine playing PUBG or Genshin Impact with zero lag. I'm already dreaming about it. Now, here's where it gets spicy. The leak says storage is going to be a game changer for these scores. They're testing this chip with one terabyte of UFS 4.1 storage. Super fast, super fancy stuff. Apparently, this storage alone could boost the Antutu score by like 80,000 to 100,000 points. That's wild. So if you pair this chip with top-notch storage in a phone from, say, Vivo or Oppo, those are the blue and green brands the leaker mentioned, you're looking at a device that could smoke older flagship phones. Like, sorry last year's phones, you're getting left in the dust. Oh, and let's not sleep on the other benchmarks. In Geekbench 6, this chip is scoring over 3,900 in single-core tests. That's how it handles one task at a time. And over 11,000 in multi-core, which is when it's juggling a bunch of stuff. Those numbers are nuts. It's built on TSMC's 3NM process, which is just a fancy way of saying it's super efficient and powerful. Plus, it's got something called Scalable Matrix Extension, which is going to make AI stuff like photo editing or voice assistance way faster and smarter. Imagine your phone auto-editing your selfies to look like a pro shop them. Yeah, I'm into that. Now, I gotta keep it real, Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 is coming out around the same time, and it's rumored to hit a crazy 4.74 GHz. That's faster than the Dimensity 9500's top speed. But here's the thing, MediaTek's been stepping up their game lately, and this chip might give Qualcomm a run for its money, especially if phone makers pair it with that sweet UFS 4.1 storage. I'm curious to see how these two giants stack up. Mark your calendars, fam. MediaTek's dropping the Dimensity 9500 on September 23rd, just one day before Qualcomm's big reveal. And word on the street is that brands like Vivo and Oppo are going to show off phones with this chip real soon. I'm dying to see what these devices can do. Are we going to get phones that feel like mini supercomputers? I mean, 4 million points? That's the kind of power that makes you go, dang, my phone's smarter than me. So, what do you guys think? Are you hyped for the Dimensity 9500? Do you think it's going to crush the competition, or is Qualcomm still king? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I want to hear what you're feeling. If you like this video, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss any of my tech breakdowns. Let's keep geeking out together.